I'm Steve Maxwell and we're here at Robert's Cabin. Today we're going to be installing the power feed cables. So this is coming from the, the grid to his cabin. We've got an unusual situation here because there's not a whole lot of soil. Uh, there's a little more than a foot here at the cabin and it tapers to just about nothing at the pole. So I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of how we're installing this and uh, maybe you'll find it interesting. This is aluminum wire. Most service cables are aluminum wire these days. Uh, and it has the, uh, the potential to oxidize. So you've got to put on this conductive grease here. That, uh, it conducts electricity, but it also prevents oxidization of the electrical connection. Because if it oxidizes, then you get resistance and heat. And, uh, I mean, at best, you'd have a failure, and at worst, it could heat up enough to cause a fire, so. Okay, well, we've just put that, the cables, the conductors, into the place where the connection's happening, and it's torquing them up. Good and tight. We've got all of our connections now. So these cables are incoming. The thicker ones are incoming from the pole 300 feet away and then these smaller ones go down this conduit here underneath the building and then pop up over in that corner kitty corner to where we are where the meter base is so we're just gonna tighten this connection up and then we're gonna start the wrestling match getting the four inch conduit onto the cable um, all the way along to the pole and then later, we'll show you um, uh, the application of concrete on top of that because we don't have enough soil for protection without it. It's got to go out. We're in the middle of pouring concrete on top of the cable in the conduit that you saw before. And if you look down the, the trail here, um, the hydro pole is just, just over there. Uh, and as you can see, we don't have very much soil. Uh, this is bedrock, you see here. A little bit of soil starts up on the trench and it, it very slowly gets deeper, but it only gets to be a little more than a foot and we need two feet of soil. So that's what the concrete's for. It's pretty tough going, as you'll see. We're, we're mixing it with a small electric mixer. But the hard part is getting it in. Uh, we have to get it in by wheelbarrow. And uh, that's what we've been working at now. Each load in the mixer probably gets us about two feet. And the whole run is 300 feet long. So we've been at it for a full day already. Winter's closing in, as you can see. We had snow yesterday. It was below freezing, so we couldn't pour. It's above freezing now. Um, it's supposed to be below freezing for the rest of the week, so we're taking advantage of our day and hoping that it doesn't start to rain. So let's take a look at the mixing and the pouring now. The concrete has got to be at least four inches above the top of the pipe to meet the uh, code requirement. It's not quite deep enough over there yet, but uh, I think we're okay to about here. This is kind of interesting here. Uh, normally we would be connecting to this pole they come around and they put a transformer on it and connect our cables to it. But part way up, uh, a woodpecker has pecked a great big hole in this pole. It's pretty much a shame because the pole's only about 10 years old, but the new pressure treated poles seem to attract woodpeckers for some reason. I don't know why. So they've bored a hole that's about six or seven feet deep right in the rock next to this pole. And then they're gonna be coming in and putting in what they call a composite pole, which is, kind of interesting, you'll get to see it later, but it's a fiberglass of some kind 
and each section is tapered so that they come all nestled together and then they take them apart and, and telescope them together the other way around and then they form this big 45 foot pole, tall pole. That's the new pole with its uh, fitting up at the top all ready to go upright into its new hole and they're just taking off the wires from the old pole now. Well, the utility crew is gone, and now we've got our own pole and transformer, and we're completely hooked up. Here we've got power running all the way down this corridor to the cabin. Well, the electrical hookup is complete, and we're now for the first time running off of grid power instead of generator power. Robert's here putting down some floor insulation, but uh, we're in business.